In this short lesson, we will look at the various features of JavaScript object destructuring, such as the ability to provide default values, rename while doing destructuring, using destructuring within function arguments, and even destructuring within destructuring. So let's go. Here we have a basic type representing an employee that has a few members, first name, middle name, last name, as well as a salary object containing the properties base and extra. Now within a utility function, we are trying to get the employee's first, middle and last name and we can definitely do that by accessing the members off of the employee object. However, this results in quite a bit of duplication in the form of the text employee dot. This is exactly the kind of scenario that the object destructuring exists for. Instead of accessing the members off of the employee object one by one, we can create them directly into local variables by using JavaScript object destructuring. Basically what we are saying over here is that take the first name property off of the employee object and store it into a local variable called first name and the same is true for middle name and last name. Now of course you can do it in a single line but if you are going to be destructuring a lot of properties like we are doing over here, I would prefer to do it in multiple lines. Now beyond the simple task of taking a property off of an object and creating a local variable from it, object destructuring also comes with a few bells and whistles. One of those bells and whistles is the ability to provide default values in case any property does not exist. For example, in our employee object, middle name is optional and we can provide it a default value, for example an empty string, just in case it does not exist or it is undefined. Now another feature of object destructuring is that you can rename them when you fetch them from the object. For example, we can rename the first name property into a local variable called first, rename middle name into a local variable middle and last name into a local variable last. And now you can use these local variables however you please. For example, for our particular use case, we just want these values comma separated. Now you can use object destructuring wherever you might be assigning to a variable, even though you might be doing it indirectly. For example, a function parameter is essentially an assignment and therefore you can use object destructuring instead of the function parameter. So we replace the employee parameter with the same destructuring that we had within the function body and this is going to behave exactly like it did before. Now another property that we can pick off of this employee object is the salary member and let's store that in a local variable called salary data. Now this renaming of members during destructuring is essentially another form of variable assignment and therefore we can actually replace salary data with the properties that we want to fetch off of the salary which is base and extra. And now we have two new local variables to play with which are base and extra and we can use them for example within our CSV result. Object destructuring is definitely something that can feel a bit weird the first time you see it but as you use it more and more often it does become second nature. I use it all the time on this channel and only really do I get a question about it but I still thought it was worthwhile to make a lesson dedicated to the topic. Smash that like and subscribe for more developer content like this and I will see you in the next one.